Hi, I'm Keith Terry, and we're here to do some body music today. Body music, body drumming, body percussion, it goes by many names. But no matter what you call it, it's probably the oldest music on the planet. Before we were making instruments, we were probably clapping and stomping and using our voices to express our musical ideas. And there are traditional styles of body music all over the world still today. Right here in the United States, there's a style called hambone. Do you know where your hand bone is? No, it's not hand bone, it's hand bone. This is your hand bone. Play your hand bone. Play your other hand bone. Hand bone is uh, an old African American style of body music that came from the early 1700s. It's a while ago. So I'd like to show you one of the parts. It goes like this. Follow me, please. So if I go clap, chest, chest. Put them together. Boom. And a stop. Yeah. I'm going to change the rhythm just a little bit. It goes like this. And the one. And the two. And the three. And the four. And the one. The two. Clap, chest, chest. Clap, chest, chest. And the one. And the two. Three. And the four. And the one. So your downbeat is the second chest. One. And the two. And the three. Your first clap. In your first chest, those are your pickups into the downbeat. One, two, three, four. We sing with me. Repeat after me. Ham bone, ham bone, where you been? Let's hear it. Around the world and back again. Sing it out. Hand bone, hand bone, what have you seen? Your turn. I seen cornbread and I seen some beans. Hand bone, your turn. Hand bone, hand bone, hand bone, hand bone. A little bit of hand bone. You know, there are lots of parts for hand bone, but there's another one that's I just love so much. It's called the lawnmower. And it sounds like this. I'll play it and then we'll break it down. This is the lawnmower. Why do you think they call it the lawnmower? Have you ever seen those old fashioned lawnmowers, the one with the blades that go like this? No motors. You provide all of the energy with your arms and your legs, pushing it around the yard. Well, that's why it's called the lawnmower. It looks like those old fashioned lawnmowers. Would you like to join me? So if you stick out an arm and with the fingers of your other hand, you're gonna slap between your elbow and your shoulder. Not too hard, don't hurt yourself. You're gonna go slap and then drop your hand to your lap. Slap, lap, try it. Slap, lap, slap, lap. Slap, lap, slap, lap, slap, lap. Are you saying slap, lap? It's kind of fun to say. Slap, lap, slap, lap, slap, lap. All right, let's try the other side. So you stick out the other arm, and with the other hand, slap, lap. Try it. Slap, lap, slap, lap, slap, lap, slap, lap. So you get two sides on each side, a slap, lap on one, a slap, lap on the other. And you start out slowly, and you alternate to the other side. So we go slap, lap, slap, lap, slap, lap. And if you stay really relaxed, you can go faster until you are the lawnmower. Yeah? What do you think? Can we try it one more time? Do you hear that sound that you're making? Taka, 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 taka on each side. Two sounds on each side. Let's try it again. So relax your arms, relax your hands, relax your fingers, your shoulders. Everything's relaxed. You relaxed? Here we go. Slap, lap, slap, lap. Back and forth. Relaxed. Faster. Feel like you are the lawnmower. Yeah. I love the lawnmower. All right, so those are a couple of parts from African-American 
ham bone right here in this country. You know, there's some other styles that we can find in the United States. There's stepping, which comes from African-American fraternities and sororities. Do you know those clubs on the university and college campuses? They practice this. It's a very powerful, they have really beautiful motions. It's very competitive, called stepping. And what else? Well, we have, of course, beatboxing. One of my favorite body musics that exists all over the world these days, but it came from the United States originally, I think. Beatboxing. Many of you may be, may be amateur beatboxers yourself. So if we leave the United States, we go across the Pacific Ocean into the Indian Ocean to the country of Indonesia. Indonesia is made up of thousands of islands. If you look at it on a map, it's an archipelago a chain, a necklace of islands. And one of those tiny islands is Bali, Indonesia, and it's the home of a lot of rhythmic music and dance, including a vocal chanting that's similar to beatboxing, but different. It's called ketchak. Can you say ketchak? That's right, not ketchup, ketchak. So they'll take the syllable like chak. Can you say chak? Mm -hmm. Can you say chak chak? How about chak chak chak? Chak 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 chak? I thought you could. So they'll take this syllable and then make rhythms like this. Yeah. It's fun to do, isn't it? Keep it really short, very percussive. Now the rhythm, this is a common rhythm that you hear in a lot of different kinds of musics. I can think of it as a three, three, two. I'm subdividing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah? So look. Cha, 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 cha. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, try it. Cha, cha. And a little bit of ketchup. Ketchup. That's right. Now, also in, in, in Indonesia, in one of those other islands in Sumatra, is there's a very beautiful, beautiful style of clapping that looks like this. Yeah, I love this clap, and you can do it very easily. So put up your arms, your hands, yeah, again, it's all relaxed. So then you're going to take the fingers of one hand, and you're going to play the palm of the other hand. And you go back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try it again. Shake out those hands. Keep them relaxed. Yeah. So you start one, and then the other. Back and forth. Keep it light. If you keep it light and relaxed, then you can go faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now there's another way of thinking about this. If you're having trouble getting your hands going here, if you put your arms parallel, you know what parallel means, right? So the arms are parallel and your elbows go up and down. And when your elbows go up and down, it puts your hands in the appropriate positioning. Try it. So your arms are parallel, you go up and down. Yeah, just like that. These clapping techniques, I love them all. They're all really special. All right, if we leave Indonesia now, and let's go to North Africa, to Morocco. In Morocco, there's a very special kind of clapping there. And you hear it in Morocco, but you hear it in other countries in that region, in Tunisia, and all the way down into the Persian Gulf. Check it out on a map. You find this clapping. In Morocco, they call it Rouche, but it changes names as it moves throughout the region. So, you open your fingers really, really wide. 
when you clap. And when you clap, you can align your fingers. So if you're looking from the side, you just see one hand. You just see one hand. Yeah. So whoosh. see how they are aligned. Now, when I clap, I keep that alignment. Listen what happens. Can you hear that high popping sound? It's an amazing sound. I'm capturing some air between the palms of my hands and that's what creates that sound. So try it. You don't have to clap too hard. Don't hurt your hands. Yeah, I can do it very lightly. It's all about the placement. You wanna try it with me? So here we go. It may take some practice, but once your hands know how to do it, then you can do it so easily you don't have to think about it. So if you have larger hands, you have a lower pitch. A lower pitch. If you have small hands, you have a higher pitch. Kind of amazing, isn't it? Now listen to one more thing. I can change the pitch. Listen, so here's my regular. Now listen to this. You hear that? Dun, 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 dun. Crazy, huh? So what I do, here's my regular, and then if I rotate one hand, that means move one hand like this. Can you see that? So here. Rotate it like this, then it will change pitch. Look. It's kind of magical. I love this clap. Roosh in Morocco. They're called other names in different parts of the region. If we go north from Morocco, we go into Spain. And Spain is the home of some really beautiful rhythmic music and dance called flamenco. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you practice it. It involves clapping. And often you have one or two or more people just clapping in the music. It really propels, it drives the music. And it has a special clap. It's called pamas. So if I take the three middle fingers of one hand, I'm going to play on the palm of the other hand. Yeah, try it with me. Try. You don't have to clap really hard. You see that? So these are the down beats. If I think of it as one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The clap is the down beat, yeah? This is called the palm. You clapping with me? No. And, two, and, two, and, four. So those ands really open your hands. And, two, and, two, and, two, and, two. and stop. Now, if you have a partner, they can play the contrapama, the part that goes with this one that we were just clapping. And this starts on the and. So if I say, ready, go, mm. You start on the and, the out. You understand? Yeah? So this out, this becomes our new downbeat. So it would be like, ready, go. One, two, three. It's the opposite of the part we were playing a moment ago. That part would be clapping when my hands are out. So let's try this together. You take the first part, the palma. So if I say, ready, go, you're gonna go, and, 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 let's try that. Ready, go, and, 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 two, and, two, and, four. One more time, let's try it. Ready, go, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and four and stop. 
This time, you do that part. I'm going to start on the out when you start with the clapping on one. Okay, so don't follow me this time. We'll be opposite. When my hands are out, you're clapping. Yeah, when your hands are out, I'm clapping. Let's see if we can do this. Ready? Ready? Go. One, two, three, clap, clap. Three and four and one. Three and four and one, two, three, four and stop. Yeah, did you do it? That can be really fun with a partner. If you have a friend or a brother or sister, maybe your parents, see if they'll do that with you. All right, those are several traditional styles from around the world. I'd like to do one more thing with you. It's not a traditional style, but lots of people are doing this these days. And it sounds like this. Yeah, crazy, huh? I'm not using my voice at all. It's all the interaction of my mouth and my hands. So do this. Put your hands together like you're gonna, well, first of all, cup your hands like you're gonna take a drink, yeah? So you got your hands, now you put your hands together. Now look, I'm making a little container. The side with my finger, my little fingers is all closed off. Now look at where my thumbs are. Can you see that? Yeah? I want one opening. And if you look at how my hands naturally fit together, I have four. So this is what I do. Check it out. I slide one hand down like this. Do you see that? I slide one hand down. Now I have one opening above this thumb. This is really important. Yeah? Everything is closed off except that one opening. This is crucial. If you have more than one opening, it does not work so well. So with this one opening, when I clap my hands, aim it to your cheek. Do you feel that puff of air? Feel that puff of air coming on your cheek? You feel that blowing there? All right, now make a small O shape with your mouth and you're gonna send the puff of air into your mouth. Listen. Wild, huh? So again, I'm not using my voice. It's just the hands and the, and the mouth. Now, if I make a wide-shaped O, I get a higher pitch. A small-shaped O gets a lower pitch. Look. So play around with that. Again, it might take a little practice, but once you have it, you'll have it forever. So let's end with playing one of my favorite songs, it's called Clappy Birthday, and it goes out to anyone who has a birthday this month. In fact, this goes out to anyone who has a birthday this year. All right, will you join me? Here's our starting pitch. Ready, go. Yeah, very fine. So give yourselves a big whoosh. Yeah. Give yourself one of these. Give yourselves a lawnmower. Yeah. You did a great job. I'm Keith Terry. I hope you enjoyed doing some body music today. Have fun.